Hey, genuine well wishers and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years, in spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth wave and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of concern, in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with the sheer ecstasy, reborn again, an infant for my 191st, 191 video on Unveil of Publication on YouTube today, 2nd November 2022, Wednesday. The topic for today is man-made disasters. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal. So we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever, having published 191 videos so far, including this video for the benefit of the society that to absolutely free. Disasters. The word disaster is derived from Middle French disaster. Disaster. And that from old Italian dis, disaster, which in turn comes from the ancient Greek pejorative prefix dus bad and uh, astro star the root of the word disaster bad star in greek comes from the astrological sense of calamity blamed on the position of planets hazards may be also be described in relation to the impact that they have a hazard hazard only exists if there is a pathway to exposure, a state of extreme, usually irremediable ruin and misfortune, irreversible, and even resulting in great loss and misfortune, an act that has disastrous consequences, is a serious problem occurring over a short or long period of time that causes widespread human material, economic or environmental loss which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. Disasters are routinely divided into either natural disasters caused by natural hazards, we call it as force major, that means act of God, or human instigated disasters caused from anthropogenic hazards. Natural hazards are basically an act of God force major and emergency preparedness is a must since these are not preventable. Human instigated hazards are preventable since the root cause is greediness of some bastards and bitches in disguise as business assholes, bureaucrats and stinky politicians whose only, one and only intention is to loot, amass a fortune out of others' misfortune. So we will focus on such disasters in this video. Developing countries like India suffer the greatest cause when a disaster hits, more than 95% of all deaths caused by hazards occur in developing countries and losses due to natural hazards are 20 times greater as a percentage of gross domestic product GDP in developing countries than in industrialized countries. Developed nations like USA ruin everything for their own betterment and happiness. The effect is on developing countries like India where people are already running such pathetic lives. Complex disasters where there is no single root cause are more common in developing countries. A specific disaster may spawn a secondary disaster that increases the impact. A classic example is earthquake underneath the ocean which sets up the tsunami, flooding leading to electrocution. It is a combination of the hazard along with the exposure of a vulnerable society that results in a disaster. Natural disasters is a negative impact following an actual occurrence of natural hazard in the event that it significantly harms a community. The severity of the damage depends on the affected population's resilience and on the infrastructure available. Examples of natural hazards include avalanche, coastal flooding, cold wave, drought, earthquake, hail, heat wave, hurricane, tropical cyclone, tornado, typhoon, ice storm, landslide, lightning, river line, riverine flooding, strong wind, tsunami, volcanic activity, wildfire, winter weather, so many things. Human instigated disasters are the consequence of technological or human hazards. Examples include war, social unrest, stampedes, fires, transport accidents, industrial accidents, conflicts, oil spills, terrorist attacks, 
and nuclear explosions, nuclear radiation. Other types of induced disasters include the more cosmic scenarios of catastrophic climate change, nuclear war, cyber war, and bioterrorism like COVID-19. All disasters can be seen as human-made due to human failure to introduce appropriate emergency management measures. Famines may be caused locally by drought, flood, fire, or pestilence, pestilence. But in modern times, there is plenty of food globally, and sustained localized shortages are generally due to government mismanagement, violent conflict, or an economic system that does not distribute food where needed. There should be equitable distribution to everybody that needs it. There is so, so much human cry when some affluent persons are affected either by a natural event or man-made event. But when a whole mass of economically backward people are affected, it is all hushed up, even by the media. Anthropogenic hazards can be grouped into societal hazards, criminality, civil disorder, terrorism, war, industrial hazards, engineering hazards, power outage, fire, hazards caused by transportation and environmental hazards. There are certain societal hazards that can occur by inadvertently overlooking a hazard, a failure to notice or by purposeful intent by human inaction or neglect consequences as a result of little or no preemptive actions to prevent a hazard from occurring. Space travel presents significant hazards not only to the direct participants like astronauts and co or cosmonauts and ground support personnel, but also carry the potential of disaster to the public at large in the form of space debris, ozone depletion, etc. Accidents can occur on the ground during launch, preparation or in flight due to equipment malfunction of the naturally hostile environment of space itself. And additional risk is posed by unmanned low orbiting satellites whose orbits eventually decay due to friction with the extremely thin atmosphere. If they are large enough, massive pieces traveling at great speed can fall on the earth before burning up with the potential to do extensive damage. Environmental hazards are those hazards where the effects are seen biomes or ecosystems rather than directly on living organisms. Well known examples include oil spills, water pollution, slash and burn, defrost, deforestation, air pollution and ground feces. In managing waste, many hazardous materials, even hospital waste from operation theaters are put in the domestic and commercial waste stream. In the waste stream, the waste products exterior or encapsulation breaks or degrades and there is a release and exposure to hazardous materials into the environment. For people working in the waste disposal industry, those living around sites used for waste disposal and landfill on the general environment surrounding such sites. Safe disposal is a must. Manual scavenging is a banned, but in countries like India it is still going on. People getting into that slush, the sewage and clearing the blocks and all that. Just think of uh, what will happen to the person that get inside such uh, shitty things. Okay, that is shit also, human shit. Industries are major culprits since they dispose even hazardous waste like hazardous effluents in public streams. Examples are dyeing industries, leather tanneries, etc. They should be condemned to death since there are, these are premeditated acts similar to sabotage, bioterrorism. Nowadays, nuclear power plants are so common in all countries, but how many of them dispose the radioactive waste properly? Deforestation results in so many calamities like flooding, viral diseases, man-animal conflicts, etc. CBRN is a catch, catch-all acronym for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. The term is used to describe a non-conventional terror threat that, if used by a nation, would be considered as a use of weapon of mass destruction, WMD. This term is used primarily in the United Kingdom, UK. Behavior that puts others at risk of injury or death is universally regarded as a criminal as criminal and is a breach of the law for which the appropriate legal authority may impose some form of penalty. Not some form of penalty, I would say stringent penalty, such as imprisonment, a fine or even execution. 
execution should be done that becomes a lesson for the others that even think about it it's like uh, in some middle east countries like saudi and all that they do that in the open civil disorder is a broad term that typically is used by law enforcement to describe forms of disturbance when the many people are involved and are set upon a common aim example protests against starlight group kappa of vedanta group at tutukri tamil nadu in india all of you know about the firing unwanted firing how many innocent people lost their lives in that incident it's not an incident eh? it's a, i would say a criminal act by the politicians terrorism is a use of threatened use of violence for the purpose of creating fear in order to achieve a political religious or ideological goal attack at bombay bomb blast at coimbatore tamil nadu recently in october 2022 war is a conflict between relatively large groups of people which involves physical force inflicted by the use of weapons so called defense examples usa vietnam war world wars russia ukraine war india china war india pakistan war so many examples are the industrial actions resulting in release of releases of hazardous material usually occur in a commercial context such as mining actions they often have an environmental impact but they also can be hazardous for people living in proximity the bhopal disaster in india in 1983 saw the release of methyl isocyanide into the neighboring environment seriously affecting large number of people i won't say affecting killing almost half the population of bhopal immediately and other the remaining were affected long term the effects are long lasting and even people uh, now in 2022 are uh, suffering it is probably the world's worst industrial accident to date bhopal by which company i for it was union carbide but under that american company i forgot the name of the company okay engineering hazards occur when structures used by people fail or the materials used in the construction proved to be hazardous example bridge collapse at marbi suspension bridge at gujarat recently building collapse in mogliwakam chennai a yeah, power power outage is the interruption of normal sources of electrical power short term power outages up to yeah dow chemicals and uh, that uh, bopal instant uh, dow chemicals it was union carbide uh, that's the name of the company but actually it was dow chemicals a power outage is an interruption of normal source of electrical power short term power outages up to a few hours are common and a minor adverse effect since most businesses and health facilities are prepared to deal with them extended power outages however can disrupt personal and business activities as well as medical and rescue services leading to business losses and medical emergencies electromagnetic pulses and voltage spikes from water or gas can also damage electricity infrastructure and electrical devices bush fires forest fires and mine fires are generally started by lightning but also by human negligence or arson purpose they can burn thousands of square kilometers very fast if a fire intensifies enough to produce its own winds and weather it will form into a fire storm arson is a setting of a fire with intent to cause damage premeditated sabotage hazards caused by transportation includes aviation rail road space ships etc environmental hazards are those hazards where the effects are seen in biomass biomes or ecosystems rather than directly on living organisms well known examples include oil spills water pollution slash and burn deforestation air pollution and ground feces hazardous materials are radioactive waste organo halogens carcinogens cfcs chlorofluorocarbons used in uh, refrigeration air conditioning etc toxic metals asbestos cbrn okay i have not covered everything i have given uh, i have covered only the prime things are important things measures like disaster management emergency preparedness will curb the adverse effects consequences of disasters relief should be without any bias whatsoever else it's a total failure developing countries need to learn good acts systems in place from developed countries actions need to be effected as fast as one can government should spend more on activities like these rather than some so called defense which is only destructive mass destruction disasters become a catastrophe when there is a lack of management and prepared preparedness acts 
it is not enough only talking about it or in writing effectiveness is dependent on implementation in real life else it's just window dressing sheer window dressing debates discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever and you let me pull the plug here we'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic some of the statements views express our solely mind based on limited knowledge over gain over six decades of versatile experience always watch these videos with close caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation from the bottom of my heart zillion times so far uh, made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum today i must take uh, about 10 minutes just i guess uh, this time limit is self imposed to read the viewers attention as a now stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing attributed to pandemic novel covid 19 and prolong your life lead a healthy life god also known as the supreme power is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural or unnatural bio war cyber war events like pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays a way for the apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs rest in peace and harmony